Hey, Redemption Gateway, welcome to part six of our seven part series of daily doses. They're talking all about the fundamentals of discipleship, the basic habits, practices that we uh, step into asking the spirit to work so that we can connect with God intimately and that he can change us and grow us and help us learn what it is to be the way of Christ. One of the things I, I love about sports is the way that they bind people together, that being on a team, there's always that tryout period or that first part of the season. I remember, especially in my sophomore year of high school and JV basketball at McClintock High School, uh, my dad was our coach. I remember him saying that if there is one thing that we know that we can control, it is our conditioning. Everything else we can't totally control, but we can control our conditioning. And so for that reason, we will be the most in shape basketball team that we come up against. And what that meant is that we ran and we ran and we ran. Cause you can control how often you run. You can't necessarily control um, how good you are, how much, how athletic you are, how many fundamental skills you have, but you can control how good a shape you are in. And so we ran and we ran and we ran and we'd full court press the other teams all the time. And there's a sense in which we were in it together, but it really bound, binded us, bound us together as a team that we remember um, the beginning of the season crucible of conditioning is part of what bound us together as a team. And this is similar to following Christ. And that's today's practice. Today's discipline is that of connecting, that of being in the trench with other brothers and sisters in Christ who can know you well enough to not be impressed with you, but nonetheless still love you and have affection for you and are for you and are in your corner. Our deepest fears are to be truly known and then not loved, but a lot of us live our lives in a way in which we're not really loved because we're not really known. And so stepping into community with vulnerability and curiosity is a vital part of our Christian faith, not just because it gives us someone to be in the trenches with fighting against the enemy, but because real Christians who are not totally impressed with us, but who see our flaws and see our bad instincts, are able to expose our sin and help us walk after Christ. In this text in particular, this idea within a lot of the New Testament is the idea of the one another's, the commands that we are obligated to one another, bearing one another's burdens. I cannot bear anyone's burdens that I don't know about. And so I'm required to be known and to know others in community if I'm going to obey the command to bear one of those burdens. Likewise, this command in Ephesians 4, verse 32, forgiving one another. This has rocked me just recently. This reality that if I'm going to obey the command to forgive one another, I need to be placing myself in a position where I can be sinned against. That is vulnerability. That is the willingness to step into a place where I'm close enough to people to allow myself to be sinned against. Because no matter what community I find, I will be sinned against because it's full of not just imperfect people, but willfully sinful people. That we're all trying to follow Jesus together, but we do so with dramatic, dramatically variable faithfulness. But nonetheless, the grace of God is present and at work. And so Redemption Gateway, whether it's taking the Start Here class, jumping into the Rooted class, taking a men's group or a women's group, getting in an online group, stepping into RC, this can be organic, this can be organized, this can be the formal structures, this can be the informal structures, this can be young connecting with old, this can be old connecting with old, young connecting with young, whatever it is, we are called to seek out wisdom and seek out plurality and seek out people in the body of Christ who can know us and see us, that we can forgive them, that we can bear their burdens, that we can know them fully and still love them. So key discipline to following Jesus is that of connecting or fellowshipping with we as a body of Christ as one community of people. So Redemption Gateway, thanks for tuning in today. Do what you can to take meaningful steps to form meaningful relationships here at the local church. I'll see you tomorrow for part seven of our series.